Hi, I'm Rob Simmons, Product Manager with Garrett Advancing Motion. The topic I'm going to present is turbo system optimization. While turbocharger selection is a critical part of your project, selecting the correct mating components is equally as important. Optimizing the entire system ensures that the engine will make the target horsepower and everything functions properly. What I hope you take away from this is not only a better understanding of turbo system components, but also where you can find this information for future use and projects. The areas that I'm going to cover are based on questions that we've received during trade shows and races, as well as areas I feel are commonly overlooked. So let's get started. Oil leakage can occur from the compressor seal, turbine seal, or both. Leakage from the compressor seal is due to excessive pressure across the compressor housing inlet, which is caused by the air filter is too small or clogged, or charge tubing is too small or has too many bends between the air filter and compressor housing. It can also be caused by the turbo tilted forward past the recommended 15 degrees. Leakage from the turbine seal is caused by a collapsed turbine side piston ring, usually due to excessive exhaust gas temperature, or the turbo is tilted backward past the recommended 15 degrees. Leakage from both sides of the turbo can be caused by excessively high oil pressure, inadequate drain, improper venting of the, of the crankcase, excessive crankcase pressure, or the oil drain flange is rotated past the recommended 35 degrees. If installed properly and the engine is in good operating condition, a turbo should not leak oil. This concludes the video presentation. I hope you found this information helpful. As I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, this information is available on the Garrett Motion website, along with other general and technical information. Thank you for your time and good luck with your future turbo projects.